This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. I guess midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Um, so stick around, have a good time, drink responsibly. Okay. Uh, and uh, welcome to the first night of our program. Every Wednesday night is the first night of our program. It used to be Mondays, and then it was Tuesdays, and now it's Wednesdays. But then we do a show on Mondays now at four o'clock. So I'm still working as much as I was before. Okay. All right. Anyway, I covered this makeup tonight. Uh, that's, that's my owie. Uh, it's still there, still scab. And my hand's still killing me. And uh, uh, to, so because I feel so screwed up, uh, my question is, why don't I just go over? Oh, wait a minute, I don't want Charlie Wall. Oh, wait a minute, oh, there we go. Okay, I got who I want. Okay, all right. I thought I, put, I, thought I screwed up or something like that, but. I didn't screw up. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, from San yeah. Francisco, California, with the Ghirardelli Chocolate Factory in back of him. Yeah, it's a nice day when you got chocolate. And uh, yeah. the Ghirardelli used to be uh, a lot more fun. They had tours. They actually made chocolate there. Yeah. Now I think it's condominiums. Yeah, it's it's not. Uh, it, it was a chocolate, actual chocolate factory for, yeah. for a San Francisco-based chocolate company. Right. that uh, very seldom made it outside of California, okay? But I think now you can get Ghirardelli just about anywhere, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gas stations. Gas stations? No. It, yeah, it, next to the sushi. As I remember it in its mm -hmm. heyday, I don't know what it's like now, but in its heyday, it was really great chocolate. Yeah. You know, it was really good chocolate. I enjoyed it. It was. Yeah. So... How you feeling? Uh, My you know. hand is still killing me. You know? Did you uh, get that thing I sent you? The trumpet? Yes, I got it uh, today. Wait a minute. Where is it? Here it is just to prove to you that I got it. All right. There we go. And this is a way of uh, exercising my my hand, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's called the Grip Master. I, I see that you're uh, using it all the time. Well, I mean, I didn't want to open it till you were here. Oh, this is an un unbagging. Yeah, now that it's here, uh, let me see here. Let me unbag it. So this mm -hmm. allows you to work each finger individually. Yes, but is it, it isn't my fingers that are killing me. Well, oh, you said ow, you couldn't ow, close ow, them. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> ah, that's a, a pain. <laughs> Yeah, no pain, no gain. Yeah, um, uh, don't squeeze it so hard. Individually, uh, work work the fingers because what you're trying to do is strengthen strengthen those uh -huh. fingers. I think you got it on backwards too. Turn do it I, around. Is it on you, top? The, I'm no, to, no, the 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 just just flip it in your hand. The black uh, rubber goes against your palm. The oh here like this? You mean like that? That? Yeah, I think that's the. I think that's it. Yeah. 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 Uh, well. And, uh, and, and then, that actually will uh, do a good job mm -hmm. of uh, working uh, those fingers. You said you had a hard time closing them. Yeah, and well, I don't have that tr as much trouble now closing them. Although they still hurt a little bit here. Uh, but uh, I, I don't know. I probably, I probably moving. Yeah, moving those joints will definitely strengthen uh, yeah. the joints. Will help with any pain. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't forget to use your therapy. Uh, well, yeah, I, I, you know, I just maybe I should. Yeah, I, I, I imagine I don't think I broke the wrist. I don't no, think you, you sprained it. But uh, this long it's taking to cure itself. This is week number. This is week number two, I think. Uh, hold hold it up to the camera and let me diagnose it. Uh, uh, don't worry about it. In the week, it'll fall off by itself. Yeah, no, but it looks okay, <laughs> right? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, it's not swollen anymore, and it's not black and blue. But it's been this way for, uh, what, two weeks? No, wait a minute. No, a week. A week. Yeah. A week. Yeah. It was a week ago Monday that I... Well, yeah, you took uh, you took quite a fall. Yep, I certainly did, didn't I? Anyway, so, uh, yeah. you know, so that that's how I'm feeling. I, and, and, and also, I think I f hit my face or something, because I do have a certain sensitivity in my face. Yeah, my face it's it's hurting. My face is hurting me. I know it's hurting you too. <laughs> yeah. Well, is it got anything to do with the dental work that, that you've been having? No, uh, over the time? no, no. It's in the, the teeth are fine. The teeth didn't get dislodged or anything like that, but it hurts a little bit down here and up in here. It was hurting. It's not hurting today. Although I took some ibuprofen today because okay. it was really the face was just kind of like hurting me but you know it's going to rain so a lot of that is you know rain problems too so yeah anyway I'll, I'll i'll i'm sure i'll get better or i won't you know well uh i i hope you do and yeah just try that thing and uh it, it just go slow don't yeah. don't uh you know don't do a louis armstrong with it right i'm not trying to yeah, you're not trying to play the trumpet, right? Uh, but uh, the thing is, that, and then uh, let's see, next Monday I go to my my uh, urologist for my. Oh yeah, I I got a thing today. I have to go in and get a PSA done. Yeah, I have to get my PSA done. I'm always worried about the PSA, and I yeah. should and I shouldn't because probably I'm fine. I'm sure that that thing they did to me worked, well, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, I like the ostrich approach. I kind of stick my head in the sand, and uh, and I don't have to worry. Well, that, uh, well, I was looking it up today after brachytherapy, which is one part of what I got, but I also got the yeah. radiation as well, that after uh, after five years, I think there's about a 94% chance it will not come back. Yeah. So. Well, uh, you know, I just had the rattle, radical prostatectomy, Mm -hmm. uh, a year and a half later, it came back. Mm -hmm. It just started showing some higher PSA, some detectable mm -hmm. PSA, and I'm not supposed to have any. So with the seven weeks of radiation, uh, it went back to no detectable uh, PSA. I guess I'll see this week. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll probably go on Sunday. Well, and, I will uh, be keeping my fingers crossed for you. Well, thank you very you much. Know, and I've been having a little pain when I pee. So I'm, I got to talk to him about that, but I think that's a result of the of the the seeds that were implanted in my prostate. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it's it's all the stimulation that you get now. <laughs> the biggest thrill I've had in the last uh, couple of years was having seeds planted in my prostate. <laughs> hey, could you do that again? Yeah. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't want enjoyed to that one. I don't want to talk about my health. I'm going to quit talking about my health. Yeah. yeah, you got something else to talk about? Um, not, not really. Uh, so let's get you, back to my health. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, what did uh, Kenji Brown say about your health? Uh, mm -hmm. She was asked, you know, uh, what is a woman? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the Supreme Court. Listen, uh, that was a that was a, a stupid question. All right. I, to begin with, why are you asking her what, what is a woman? Well, what, it's very simple. Uh, there's some there's a, a lot of issues now over whether you can just claim to be a woman or you're a biological woman. And uh, I'm sure these cases will eventually surface to the Supreme Court. I think that swimmer who uh, claims girl mm -hmm. uh, and is beating all the other swimmers. And have you seen uh, him when he's on the, uh, the Wait, winning? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I appreciate that the guy wants to identify as a woman. That, that, right. That's fine. I, I, I honor that. I will tell you I have no problem with that. If you want me to refer to you as she, I will be happy to refer to you as she, whatever. But when it comes to something like athletics, there is nothing you have done which has made your body less muscular. And you're gonna be much more muscular as a male than you are as a female because you have right. testosterone and a whole bunch of other things. And even if you've inhibited your testosterone, you're still going to. So I just don't, you know, I'm kind of one of those people that feels that he should compete as a male. Okay. I, I agree. That he, if he competed as a, a, a male, he'd probably lose a lot. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, that, that, I mean, I'm not saying women are the weaker sex. I'm just saying 
that the reason why we have separate women's teams and men's teams is because of the difference in the anatomy. Well, okay. I, do you think that uh, the question that was posed uh, to... I thought uh, it was a stupid question. Well, I, I think that it... I thought that what it, those people were doing today was absolutely moronic. I mean... Um, uh, uh, why? Because they were asking her about uh, uh, cases that um, uh, seem to be... Uh, what, what do you call it when you rule from the bench... Um, advocacy, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, she. No, but uh, this, those didn't amount to advocacy. And as it was pointed out, eighty percent of the judges in America have meted out the same sentences for that crime. Okay. Oh, uh, you mean the child pornography? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it was a stupid thing. And then Hawley, who was making a big deal out of it, has also put up who he thinks should be the person that is nominated to be a Supreme Court judge. And it was pointed out by uh, Dick Durbin, I think, that the guy, person he was uh, uh, suggesting be, be a, a Supreme Court uh, judge, uh, 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 what do you call it, ruled exactly the same way as she did on a similar case. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, uh, she tried to explain it. They, they, they only had one horse that they could go riding on. And they kept riding that horse till, till it couldn't ride no more, you know. Well, as, and it was as, embarrassing to the Republicans. No, I, let I, let I, me be honest about something, and you got to be honest about it. She was very poised. She was very true. well spoken. She seems to me to be one of the best people we've ever put up for that job. I mean, she is eminently qualified and deservant because of well, her years of of, of uh, uh, duty to this country. Uh, she may be qualify or well, she may be a nice person she may uh, no no forget health. about nice person qualified uh, absolutely qualified jurist uh, is it qualified if you don't uh, rule uh the way the constitution is written and you want to well, rewrite how, when did she do that uh on the um no you can't name it yeah, I can, but no, uh, you can't name can't it. Remember, you right? can't right. name it. He, she, she has ruled the way most judges have ruled in those cases. In eighty percent of those cases, that's the kind of sentence that is put out there. Yeah. So. Uh, well, uh, I, I there were some guidelines that she was supposed to follow. Some sentencing no, guidelines. They, they, these were they, they were suggested guidelines, but nobody followed them. Eighty percent of the people giving out the sentences didn't follow that. Okay, well that one I haven't seen publicized. Uh, your well, 80%. it was it was right there today uh, in the uh, hearings. It was it was stated as fact that eighty percent of uh, judges in similar cases have ruled exactly as she did. All right, well that's a, that'll be a good one to look up. Well, that's uh, nothing to look up. It's 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 fact. Yeah. If you want to look it up, go look it up. Okay. Well, I'll look it up when my half hour is up. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, let's see what else is going because on. Because what happens is Phil sticks with us. You're going to stick with us tonight, right? Uh, yeah. What is tonight? Wednesday? Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess so. Okay. So you're going to stick with us. So what the second part of the show, after we've done this with him, is all Be about is him spending the in, under t the time <laughs> trying to find an answer that fits his you know. narrative. But you, you're not going to let me say it anyway. So, you know, no, of course not. When, when I find it, you'll say, oh, no, we're not talking about that, yeah. you know. But I felt that, that you know, the Cruz and Hawley and uh, and Lindsey Graham, especially that little piece of work. Lindsey Graham asked her some pretty good questions. Oh, no, he, no uh, he didn't. No, he uh, didn't. What, what were the questions that he asked that you didn't like? I'm trying to remember, but there were it, they were just stupid. They were stupid questions in which he was trying to nail. He wouldn't, to begin with, he would ask her a question, okay? Yeah. And then while she was answering it, he'd be looking at his papers and back at the next chart he was going to show and some more papers and wasn't even listening to her reply. And then when she was through, she started reading again, you know, from all these list of questions. So, I mean, come on. And then he would interrupt her constantly while she was trying to give him an answer. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, he was rude. He was just plain oh. rude. Uh, you know, talking about the interruption thing, last night 
we had a practice community circle for the uh, district attorney thing that I'm doing. The c- and c- community they, circle they, jerk, is that what it was? Sort of. Uh, but I, I'll tell you, there's some, something happened towards the end that uh, I thought was great. But they had something called a talking stick. And you actually. Oh, passed, Jesus. Not the talking stick. The, the, yeah, the oh, talking stick. God. You passed it, but you know nobody interrupted anybody. It was pretty good, uh, you know. I, uh, well, I wish I had a talking stick today for Lindsey Graham. I mean, if you're going to ask her a question, then let her answer it without constantly interrupting her. Wouldn't you agree that, that would be decent? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and you know, I, I think she handles herself well based on her position, which I don't think is very mm-hmm. strong, but uh, because I, I don't agree with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, in in that uh, she's an activist judge. That's what it is. Well, an activist an, judge. Activist judge. Uh, uh, she's trying to uh, change things. From Legislate the from the bench is the term. Yeah. Right. And so, there was no so, uh, there was no evidence to that effect. And the fact is that all judges have a bias. There's no question about that. You know, uh, and it's just a question that they 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 don't want to judge with bias on the other side. But they don't well, mind if there's a bias on their side. So, well, you know, if you ask Josh, Josh doesn't think that judges are biased. And uh, well, yes, he does. I'm sure he, he feels that many uh, of them he's are. actually said now it'd be interesting if he comes on tonight. Uh, no, to, he's, he uh, won't be on tonight. He's only no. on Fridays. So oh, to, to say something about yeah. about that, because yeah. in the past, he's always said that you know, the judges get along. They're not uh, uh, they're, they're not necessarily Republican or uh, Democratic, but um, yeah, I, I, I thought that uh, she, uh, in one moment, would say, I am going to follow precedent. And in the next moment, she would say, well, uh, maybe she'll consider precedent, but she'll go her. Well, they were talking uh, about different kinds of cases. Right. You know, and there's such, there's such a thing as what they call case law or established mm-hmm. law. Like, for instance, a lot of arguments are that we won't change Roe versus Wade because it is set law. It's been there for about 40 years, and it... And, it, and it, it's been challenged it's a couple been challenged, of times. Yeah, it's, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. So, in other words, I mean, I, I just think that she is eminently qualified. I think she's good. Uh, I don't... It's not because of her politics. Quite frankly, I didn't discern any politics in her. You know. uh, well, she's very good at not uh, putting it out on her sleeve. But, well, uh, I mean, it, it, let me put it this way. She was in a room with some very hostile people. I love how they kept coming back and saying, I'm so proud of how, how decent this group has been compared they to the They are press. compared to... No, 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 no. And then, uh, then you got these guys. It wasn't as decent. Oh, yeah. So they didn't ask her if she raped some of her students... Well, uh, no, yeah. the thing is with, with what's his name, the other guy, I can't remember his name, but sorry, uh, with a K. Uh, K. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 he, uh, one of the reasons a lot of people were going after him is because he was so combative with the panel. Rather than trying to be quiet and decent and good, he just started lashing out at them. And then he did that whole crying fit. So he was asking for it. I don't think so. He was asking And if for they went it. after look, look, her, between you and me, whether it was him or whether it was any other person, I don't think that judges up for this job should have to go through this gauntlet. Okay. Well, uh, I got a feeling that she'll be confirmed. But she will be confirmed. There's no question about that. And uh, They've got know, all the Democrats they need. And if a couple of Republicans want to look good, I think a couple of Republicans will probably vote for most her. Most likely. Uh, you know. uh, there'll be a few that uh, go over and vote for her. I mean, you can't, you can't look at those hearings uh, right. today and yesterday and the day before. You can't look at them, even if you're a staunch Republican, and say, hey, she's pretty good. You know, well, she's 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 de- decent. You know, I, I put myself in the uh, senator's uh, seat and I, I asked myself today if based on what I've heard mm-hmm. uh, and the fact that she was appointed by a president and it's his call to appoint them and either she or the appointee is is qualified uh, to do the job. I think that she be she is qualified and most likely as conservative as I am, I I would vote uh, that she uh, be 
uh, uh, given a position on the Supreme Court. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that uh, uh, years ago when Biden eviscerated, what's her name? Um, uh, uh, oh, yeah, the, the Coke can one. Yeah, the Coke can one. Uh, she had a lot of goods on, again, I'm uh, trying to Clarence? remember. Clarence? Clarence Thomas. Uh, and and I think that that was one that shouldn't have been confirmed, I, you know. Well, I, I don't know. Uh, and I don't know. I was. I kind. He had. Uh, it looks like he was in the hospital with the flu this week. I know you're kicking a guy down. You know, kicking a guy with, when he's down. You know. Uh, I, if I have I kicked him yet? You're waiting. Uh, you well, know, he, uh, now I, I now I'll kick him while he's down. I wish he were uh, because he's so disgustingly ineffective as a court as a oh, justice. No. What do you mean? He sits because back and never asks questions. Mind. Look, he's one ninth uh, of the thing, and he votes. And he well, votes. they all have to vote, right? What do well, you mean he votes? Job. It's their job to vote. Yeah, and you know he's not the uh, he's not the main guy. The main guy is Roberts, and yeah, but uh, Roberts you know, doesn't make all the decisions. No, but who writes the uh, the, um, uh, the when they vote one way or another? Somebody has to write an opinion. Well, he writes. He's one of them. Roberts. They're, they all write an opinion. Yeah. And and what are you saying? That uh, uh, Clarence Thomas doesn't write a, 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 opinions often enough? or no he, no, he writes opinions, but he doesn't ask questions when they're, when they're having the, you know, talking to the attorneys and so on. They were speaking before them. He never asks questions. Never. Because well, he's listening to their presentation. Well, anyway, uh, I'm hoping he's too sick to keep going. Well... Uh, not me, uh, you know, I mean, he's only 73, uh, and I'm sure he's gotten some of the best health care that money can buy, uh, or the government's money can buy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, 73 is, I, I want people to live a lot longer than that, you know? Yeah. That's not well, that much, that's not that much further for me. I mean, yeah. it's five years. Yeah. But anyway, I think, I think that she will be confirmed. There's no question about that. You know, uh, and, but that you know, and it's just to put her through this gauntlet. I mean, I don't know what it served. All, all, uh, the Republicans who were trying to nail her are also trying to get reelected this year. You know, yeah. or, or yeah. have a soundbite, have a soundbite for their presidential well, campaign. Um, uh, who's the guy that Reagan put up that they just eviscerated for his uh, writings while he was a professor? Uh, that was Bork. Time. Bork. Yeah. And uh, I don't think that what uh, the Dems did to Bork was fair. I, and you probably don't like Bork. I, I thought I, he was I don't like Bork, like. but but I agree with you. The Dems nailed Bork, you know, but they were not nailing him for things that he hadn't said or done, you know. No, no, but he did it in the in the light of being a professor and challenging people's thoughts and thinking uh as as stu his students by the way and, you know you know you, you do know that for a supreme court justice you don't have to be a lawyer no or even a teacher i mean hell i mean you could be a comedian for crying out loud you could be well, anybody Zelensky may need a job yeah well Linsky <laughs> may need one um yeah. but um it's uh it's it's kind of you know and what's going on in the you know ukraine i i give up on this country i just give up on it well, we're not. You're giving up on our country, not Ukraine, right? Not the Ukraine. I give up on uh, us. I think that there's a point at which you do something for humanity, and you do something for people who are being literally killed uh, uh, mercilessly. And yeah. and I think that the, you know we we've gone into other countries at one time or another because that was happening and they weren't members of NATO. I mean, don't you think that as a country that says we're here for the for the for humanity, and we're we're here to protect humanity, that this is the one time we should be doing something about well, it? Well, you know, I've I've said that before. Do you remember that movie Hotel Rwanda? Yeah. And do you remember uh, what was going on and how people were getting slaughtered just just because they're they were related to another tribe? Mm -hmm. What did we do with that? I mean, that was during the Clinton era. But what what, what did we do? We did nothing. And, and, and we just watched that slaughter take place. And we always like to sit around and say what wonderful people we are. We ain't that good. Well, you know, uh, we have an opportunity 
to support freedom. And uh, I, I really hope that uh, we're able to do it. And well, all I know is I see the people there and I see them being, you know, these are people that 28 days ago had homes they were living in and families they were raising and jobs, and jobs. they were going to and everything. And now what they've got is a country that is basically looks like the looks like the Bronx years yeah, it's, ago. It's war, it's war torn. Uh, it looks like uh, Syria did when uh, when all of that was bombed. Uh, and, you know, the Russians played a, a big role in, uh, in in the Syrian uh, oppression. I th believe that the. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. The, um, what kind of weapons were they? Biological. Uh, 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 yeah. Biological weapons that were used. And that's mm -hmm. when Trump sent the 51 Tomahawk missiles uh, uh, to the site where they were launched from. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it, that that was it. That, uh, you know, America has never not had any responses to those mm -hmm. kinds Anita of. Anita Hill, that. somebody just mentioned here. John Redshaw mentioned it on our chat. What? Anita, Anita Hill. Was, Anita Hill. Anita Hill. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was a woman I felt that Biden should have nominated for Supreme Court justice. Number one, because it would drive what's his name nuts. Yeah, well, uh, did, did, uh, and and secondly, secondly, because he did so much to eviscerate her right. in those hearings. If you remember, well, he, we he know owes it. He owed voted. it to her. You know. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think that's the way you you appoint somebody. This woman has been a judge. Uh, she has a record. Uh, and I know you're right. You don't have to be a judge or an attorney. Well, or it, 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 you're talking about Bork being a, a, a professor. So is Anita Hill. She's a very well-known professor in uh, the field Bork, of law. Was Bork a judge as well? I don't think so, but I'm not. I, I really don't remember. You know, yeah, all I remember is his, his name sounded like a sound that you make in a bathtub when you fart. Well, now Bork. what's happening, uh, sort of happening to this woman and what happened to the previous two, uh, Barrett and uh, what's his name? I, mm -hmm. I can't remember his name now. Uh, but uh, what happened to them, they call it borking. So uh, that that's you know, when when someone oh, comes as I up. Say, I always find that funny because when I was a kid, we used to refer to farting in a bathtub as a bork. Oh, really? Yeah, because his sound is bork. Yeah, well, you know, it reminds me of that story that uh, you told about uh, Terry McGovern and the Wookiee. And, uh, well, how Wookiee came to yeah, the name. Yeah, now, uh, I, have, um, I have some friends that work for uh, uh, Lucas, mm -hmm. and he said that they have a trivia night uh, uh, amongst employees on, on Lucas Trivia. Mm -hmm. So I gave them that one. And uh, hopefully I explained it to him. Well, that's properly. a pretty well-known story. Oh, really? He Probably the, 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 maybe the better trivia question was, who came up with the name Wookiee? Uh, oh, that would have been Terry McGovern's father. No, Terry McGovern. Yeah, but yeah. he got it from his father. Uh, yeah, I think so. That's how I remember it, that he got it from his father because his father... Oh when they would be driving down the road and all of a sudden they would hit something in the road, you know, pothole. a yeah. pothole or whatever. Uh, and Terry would say to his father, what was that? And he said, oh, that's a Wookiee. Right. Uh, yeah. So when, yeah. so they were driving down the road together and he hit a pothole and uh, he said, what, uh, Lucas said, what was that? And he said, that was a Wookiee. And he liked the term and <laughs> it's Yeah, tough. there you go. Yeah. Or what part did uh, Terry McGovern play in Star Wars, uh, I don't remember. The only time I saw Star Wars, because hmm. I really wasn't into it, is you gave me a VHS tape of the first Star Wars, and I'd still bust me for it. <laughs> it's been well over thirty years. <laughs> uh, uh, no, but uh, uh, Terry McGovern played the voice of the stormtrooper that says, "These are not the uh, uh, not the rebels we want," or whatever. You oh, remember really? When they stopped. Yeah, the, the voice is his. Yeah, these are not the. I try to remember something or another you want. We want. Yeah. So anyway, oh, but that's then, pretty cool. Uh, but let's anyway, see what else. You want to hear what people want to talk about? Yeah. Can you believe it's already five minutes after the hour? Yeah, it's five minutes after the hour, and time to admit Charlie yeah. Wallace, Alan, and Jeffrey Stein. They're the ones that are here so far. Well, uh, Alan's uh, uh, death has been uh, greatly uh, uh, overreported. You see, what's happening is Tony 
keeps calling me and asking me to have Alan unblock him. And I told Tony, I said, look, you kept sending Alan stuff and Tony and, and Alan said, if you didn't stop sending it, he'd block you. Well, he blocked him a second time. He gave him a second chance. Mm -hmm. So Tony says, well, can he, can't you ask him to unblock me? I said, no, I can't. I, I said, Alan was killed. He was run over by a bus uh, last week and uh, I can't ask him to unblock you anymore. Well, that's so, what I used to do with people I didn't like. Yeah. Okay. They would, they would say, whatever happened to so-and-so? And I would say, uh, well, uh, 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 did you hear he died in a horrible car crash upstate? <laughs> well, uh, I, I, uh, I, kept, uh, I kept telling Tony uh, all this gruesome stuff and how the bus ran him over and his eyes popped out and all sorts of stuff. And Tony, every morning he writes me, he says, Is, what happened to Alan? <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, there he is, folks. There's Alan. There yeah. he is, Tony, in case you're watching right now. His death yeah. has been overstated. Yeah, but no, I, there was a woman named Gloria Leonard. Uh, she was an adult film actress who then became the editor of High Society magazine. And uh, we didn't like each other much for a while. We got to be friends later on, but we, for a while we were, just didn't like each other. And when people would say to me on the radio, whatever happened to Gloria Leonard, I would say she got killed in a car crash upstate. And eventually she threatened to sue me <laughs> because people were sending her, you know, regrets to her apartment and were sorry to hear about your, uh, you know. So I think that's all comes out of that Paul is dead thing, you know. No, uh, no, that, 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 that was true. Paul was dead. Yeah. And listen, listen to the guy who's playing his music now. Is that Paul McCartney? No. No. <laughs> no. no. Uh, you're, uh, you're out of color, Phil. I just sent you a picture of you. I'm out of color. You're, yeah, you're bright well, That's because I'm Jewish. You know? What? You're what? He's what? He's bright red. Oh, I can fix Well, so that. am I. No, you're not. Uh, you're fine, Alex. Everybody else is fine. Earth. Let me see if I can fix it. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just go to black and white if you can? Yeah. Just, uh, you know. uh, let's see. Advanced. Uh, uh, here we go. It's, okay. Uh, oh, no. It's in basic. How are you feeling, Alex? Yeah. After your tumble last week, are you feeling better? Uh, yeah, it's still the hand's still hurting. Hand's still hurting. Uh, you want to yeah. avoid that little thing that Phil gave you. That thing will wear your hand out. It's Why have you been using it to masturbate? Wait a minute. Now yeah. you're too red. You, uh, okay. you know what you look like? You look like Trump. Yeah. Now he's orange. Now yeah. I'm looking like Trump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Yeah. The, the big orange nothing burger. Yeah. Um That's hey, uh, better. Charlie, how'd you Don't punch anything. Uh, how'd you feel about uh uh what's her name? But uh uh, what's her name again? Brown. Brown. Jackson. Yeah. Jackson. Yeah. Jackson Brown. How do you feel about Jackson all the time? Brown? As far as I know, I don't really know much about her. I haven't been watching the hearings. So. She really, yeah. How, how about you? Have you been watching it all, Jeff? I I watched it for, I would guess, an hour. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's pretty, it's an argument about nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it, a lot of them were just wasting our, uh, time. Our, our, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Alan. Yeah. So yesterday, uh, one of the Republican senators asked her, "Don't you think we ought to arrest more murderers?" And she said, "Well, you know, uh, I think all murderers ought to be arrested." And he said, "That's not the question I'm asking you." And she says, "Well, the answer to that question is, I, as a judge." I, I don't arrest them. That's the job of the police. And the guy that looked beat red. <laughs> well, you should have seen Holly today when Durbin said, um, and by the way, for one of our, our Republican senators here, um, uh, <clears throat> the fact of the matter is that um, um, the person that you want to have nominated for the Supreme Court judge uh, also... Uh, uh, what he called ruled exactly the same way she did yep. and then they took a shot at him and he had this look on his face like oh boy oh boy i'm oh a God. bad boy 
he really looked like he'd been taken to the woodshed. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, th there were some stupid questions. I mean, yeah, do you think that all we should arrest more people for murder? Well, I guess we have to get people to pick up the slack and do some more murdering. Yes, Charlie. Yeah, plus, Ted Cruz was asking her about this private school that had critical race theory, a book about it, whatever, in, in the library. It's a private school. They can have whatever they want. They want to have flat earth stuff in there. They can have it because it's private. It's not public. But he's asking her about that as if she has something to do with that. Well, I mean, the thing is, this whole... Oh, and, and he has his kids go to a private school in Texas that has the same book in the library. Yeah, well, I think, I think never read the book. I think that's the, yeah, really. the, the big lie, the big lie that has been proffered <clears throat> all oh, by the Republicans constantly is the fear that they're teaching critical race theory in grade school. There yeah. is not a single grade school in America, and I dare you to find one, that teaches critical race theory. Now, there may be a book in the library about it since libraries have books on everything. Yeah. There are even books on Grecian myth, okay? Uh, the, but, the, but the point is that there is no classroom in America, in, in college, they do teach uh, what critical race theory is uh, to students who want to find out what the theory is. But it's not, it's not the, the, we're not teaching it in grade schools, okay? So or stop I, already. It's a big lie. The law school thing. It's a law school thing, uh, and and somebody came up with it. I can't remember who it was, but they showed the guy. He appears on Fox a lot. He came up with this idea that we'll come. I'll come up with critical race theory, and we'll go get the Democrats with this. But he knew he even knew it didn't exist in schools, you know. So I mean, uh, that that's uh, that's what's so terrible is when they do stuff like that, you know. Why, why create myth? And, uh, and, and they were asking her questions that, you know, you can't ask hypothetical questions to a person who is learned as she is because she doesn't want to answer hypothetical questions. Put a real question in front of her and she'll answer it, you know? Put her in a court of law where she's got to determine whether something is right or wrong uh, or academic or not, and she will then rule on it. But outside of that workplace, you can't say, well, what if somebody came in front of you and wanted to make sure that all turds were brown? How would you vote, you know, how would you rule on that? Well, well, I may have to take that case in the future, so I don't uh, want to have to recruit. <laughs> Cruz, Cruz. And, and, and Cruz, as a turd himself, would be very easy, it would care, <laughs> care about that answer. Uh, you know, I mean, it, I just found it uh, 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 unseemly, okay? Yeah. I mean, you want to ask definite questions about how she would rule on certain things. Where, where do you fall on certain things? I mean, like when they asked her about, uh, when Lindsey Graham said, are you a religious woman? What religion are you? I would have told him to shove it five ways and put it where the sun <laughs> don't shine. Because my religion is my religion. I don't have to tell you what my religion is, and it no. does, and it doesn't matter. And it's right there he, in the he, Constitution. He, there was no. You ever read that? Read that? Drink. Phil's going to come Look, up. He asked that question based on uh, the questions that were given to Coney Barrett, uh, uh, because she was being. Uh, uh, challenged. She was being asked if she if she, she had, belonged to a cult. Yeah. Jackson's not in any cult. Uh, I think so. The cult of liberalism. <laughs> Amy, Tony Barrett. Barrett belongs to a cult that believes that a well, woman has to defer to the man's beliefs no matter what. I like it. So it was a legitimate question to ask her if she was going to have to go to her husband to get the answer every time a case came okay. before her in the court. Okay, I doubt it. No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. That's, not, that's not a bad question. Okay, the point is, though, they didn't ask her what religion she was. They, would, they asked her if, if her personal faith. Now, this would have been a legitimate question. Does your political faith play anything into the decisions you're making on the stand? 
Uh, and, and that would be a legitimate question. But to ask her what the religion was mm -hmm. and, and does she go, how many times does she go to church every year? I think that okay. was asked. I mean, I'm sorry. These people it, are you know what I said? You know what I they're attorneys. They're attorneys. How does an attorney ask a question? They they go no, but, around. No, but and, no, no, no. But they actually said to her, you know, yeah. how often do you go to Come church? On. Let me get a calendar on it. Yeah, I mean, you know what I would have said if they would ask me. I was rooting for the Romans. Does that make it any clear? I'm choking. <laughs> Yeah, no, I would have just, I would have, I, there, I would have told them, look, you have no right to ask me that question because no, you can't use the discrimination of my religion or lack yeah. of it as a determination for this job. And I'm giving you a legal answer yeah. with that one. Yeah, he's right yeah. about that, Phil. Come on. Because yeah, no. how many times can you, I never went to church really, only on high holy days. And my mother never really dragged us there at all. Hmm. You know, yeah. maybe, maybe you really, should have gone That's more why off. you turned out the way you did. Yeah, yeah. probably yeah. should. You know, she, I mean, I kind of believed in all religions. My mother let me read up on anything I wanted, really, so she didn't stop me, really. Obviously, they let you read up on anything you wanted to. You were reading comic books all the time. That's true. In, in church, I used to, all I used to do was memorize those prayers, Alex. I had no idea what was going on. As soon as I started questioning things, they used to call me, when my mother used By to By the way, have you had some of, uh, of, of, uh, of, of Alan's coffee tonight? I actually do. I thought Phil hey, had him hitting the bus. Uh, how, well, how can I tell? Tony? Because I get all hot. I'm staying up late tonight to watch Abbott and Costello, so I'm going to go to sleep. Evan, Tony, I've made coffee in over a week. You know, Tony, what happened was because of your prayers, yeah. Alan has res has risen again. Look, there he is. I didn't, my, I didn't even ask my mom to throw a blessing yet, but now that I see he's okay, I no, he's not him. okay. But if you send him that comic well, book, let, let's he'll just, be better. Let, let's, get, let, let's get this all settled. Alan, why aren't you answering any of Tony's texts? Oh, I don't blame him, Alex. <laughs> there you go. You got your answer. <laughs> well, Tony, I'm a pain in the neck. I am. So, I think I'm impulsive. Yeah, originally yeah. I made him a friend on Facebook. And I try to behave. The text messages are, hi, message. How you doing? Message. Oh, You're continue. not up yet. Message. And there's like 70 or 80 messages. I do that to my brother, then my brother... You know how me, you ask me how this goes, but everybody knows how it goes with him. And so I said, could you please tone this down to just, you know, a couple messages a day yeah. or something funny or a joke or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, that didn't happen. I blocked him. Yeah. He begged me to unblock him, and he promised to not do it again. Oh, oh don't, ever, don't, ever, don't ever ever believe that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Don't so ever you know, believe that. If you, you know if I, any of you get a yeah, text exactly. from Tony or a, exactly. a, 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 a thing on Facebook uh, Messenger yeah. from Tony, do not answer him. I agree. Okay, with you. do not I, answer him. You're asking for Jackie, a world of hurt. I, okay. was, warned. Jackie, you know what I, I was warned by Alex and by Phil. You may not want to make. I got some for Alex. Trip. I'm gonna. I'm leaving this over Shecky's house for Alex when I go over. I got you the Wolverine Origins for you. Oh, okay, good. Thank you very much. You know, I when I go, you well, when I go over Shecky, you know what I always tell him? You should have listened to Alex. <laughs> Why? He goes, I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I told hey, him. I said, Alex? do not answer him. Uh, where's your background? Oh, shit, he's in my house. What do you oh, want oh, you, you, you I, got I, I like my background to be though. different tonight. See, I can't change my <laughs> background here because if I do it, it the whole process will show up on the show. Oh, and well, Eric and your is gone tomorrow. now. That's what I usually do for my brother. I make him beg. I get up early. Phil, yes. I'm a, Alex. Alex has me pegged. I can stay up till two in the morning with my coffee, watching TV. People can call me. I'm up still. They're like, we know he's up because I usually when I'm up, I'm up all night. You need a job, Tony. Well, I have a job. I'm self-employed, but I got too much time on my hands, and I'm just reading all night. I got stuff. <laughs> <all> <laughs> <on>. <laughs> Except, he has me pegged, Alex. One hundred percent. I think it's maybe cool. a lot of wine instead I of. I think coffee. wine. Yeah, try some wine, Tony. Really? Does it settle at night before going to? Maybe it should work, Jeff. Would it make me? Go oh, to it's good. You know, you know, <laughs> if you have a glass of wine, and Dr. Allen will tell you, if you have a glass yeah. of wine. And yeah. 10 milligrams of Valium, you'll be just fine. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> and you got the Valium at your your mom's Valium, right? Yeah. I don't know what there I'm going to dump it after. I got to dump That's it. That's my drug of choice. Sure. I has a pen, I like, same I like thing. Valium. Yeah, I don't take it much because if I take it with a pre-gabalin, I'll get really loopy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. 
pre-gabbling itself makes people makes you well yeah. i mean pre-gabbling i'm on it all the time I'm, i've got to stop it i got to stop it but how's your alex i heard your hand was still sprayed checking you, you were saying it before it's still you hurting. felt good then it's still hurting yeah you know what you probably sprained it bad not bad but enough. no i i probably i probably bruised it bad and it's uh it's taking its fair time to heal i find yeah. that the older you get the longer, yeah, my the longer it takes you know, yeah heal. yeah well yeah. anyway maybe forever and then i have my uh, urologist on monday oh god boy that was a nice April thing now. to say jeff now he, you know, his hand will hurt forever what it's a reality <laughs> what that your hand may hurt forever according to jeff my shoulder my left shoulder from basketball i separated it years ago so whenever like it acts up if i sleep on it like the last week i had to take like tylenol because it was like acting up it was aching yeah. but then i kind of iced it down so i got a little better you know, tylenol and two cups of coffee. Well, the only thing that seems to help this at all is ibuprofen you know okay so it works in I, I tried i tried tylenol i tried aspirin and uh, I was having some pains in my face today, Ooh. and I finally I just said it, and I took uh, a, a heavy duty ibuprofen, and it, it helped me for a while. You know, yeah, well, on your hand, use that thing just on those two fingers that are giving you a problem. Just use it for a couple of you know thirty seconds, a couple of times a day. That's all. Hmm. And uh, it, Dr. Meyer has spoken. spoken. Yeah. Yeah. I'll listen to Harry James' record while doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a trumpet. By the way, not a single young person listening to us, if there are any, understood that joke. No. It's who the hell is uh, who the hell is Harry James? Well, I'm thinking about buying a turntable. You know, I, I I got rid of my turntable I don't know 20 years ago, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, now I've been looking in eBay at Thorns uh, turntables, but uh, and then I went and, and looked up what kind of turntable do they have on Bosch, and that was a Marantz sixty three hundred. Are you familiar with the, you know what's your favorite turntable there? Anyone that goes around. Nah, come on. <laughs> the turntable up on nineteen sixty nine still works. Really? I love the records. I, I have a technique that, that, that's made for a for a dance club that you that's can reverse the needle and everything. He doesn't want that. No. Uh, you know, at the radio station. Why do you, you want to buy a thorn? Why do you want to even buy one? Well, you know, <laughs> something, you know, maybe I'd start buying a couple of albums because of the sound that they have. You know, I have I, a big stack of albums you can have. Once you get oh, see, I was being nice. Look see, at I, I've got, uh, I've got a stereo. I've got. Speakers. How much does a Thorin's run? Uh, yeah, between four hundred and two thousand, depending on who's Why selling. Why don't you think about buying the two thousand dollar one, and just before you buy it, send me the two thousand dollar. <laughs> <laughs> no, send me the system. Will you take a check? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you know what happened to me? This is interesting. It has nothing to do with health or anything. So I got to pay mm -hmm. this guy who we rented the apartment from $75,000. Why, I have no idea. But if it shuts him up, it shuts him up, okay? And it, it, he's, you know, he, he's agreed to let us have the apartment. Uh, so here's, here's well, wait, wait a minute, I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning, I'm, I'm talking about something here. Oh, sorry. So um, I, we, I have my business manager write him a check for $75,000. And we get the check to him. And he goes to the bank to cash it. And they say, Bank of America won't clear this check. Okay. So now he calls me and he goes, they, they refused it, you know. They said the check is bad or something. I said, it's not bad, you know, it's, it's good. So I call my business manager and then we get on call to the bank and they say, oh yeah, it was rejected because, anybody have a guess why? Be because we tried to call you and we couldn't get a hold of anybody because we want to okay the check. Because it's for that much money, we want to make sure it's just the proper amount and all of that. 
Well, to begin with, they claim they called me, and the person of record to call is not me, it's Gary, my business manager. And so they rejected the check. And I, by the way, I looked at my call log on my phone, I never got a call from Bank of America. So now they, he, I, we tell him, well, redeposit it. So he goes back to his bank. We can't take it. It's been refused already once. Plus, they want thirty dollars, probably uh, bounce check fee. Uh, the, uh, who knows? Who yeah. knows? They called Alex Bennett in Russia. So you talk about things that people, the younger people, wouldn't understand. How about this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, uh, so uh, on with the story. Uh, yeah, on with yeah. the story. So anyway, I mean. I just, you know, it just, it just got to me that my bank, you know, thank you for trying to save my ass. Why are you saving my ass? Cash the goddamn check. They don't want to be on the hook for it. You know, no, I, no, I, no, I, no, no. Here's the thing. They yeah. said, well, our fraud department, when they see this large an amount, like to okay it through the person who the check was made by. Uh, so that, you know, so if you can't get a hold of me, try and get a hold of me again. All yeah. right. Or, to, or to, there was another number on there, which was my business manager's number. Call him. But, you know, don't just reject it out of hand. You keep know. calling Alex Bennett, who lives in Moscow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Their approach is, when in doubt, don't pay. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sorry, but, you know, this is, I mean, so most I've That's ever- That's why you get a new bank. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so then he then the guy made out the check to you says, well, just have him wire me the money. Well, we don't want to wire him the money because we want an acknowledgement that he got the money. And an mm. endorsement on a returned check yeah. is an endorsement that he accepted the money. Do your banks, mm. they don't return the checks anymore. You know, uh, it used to be you got an envelope and it had 30, 40, 50 checks in it. Now, all you get is a statement I yeah, think you, digitally, you can get a digital digitally. You can get it. it. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. Get it. Oh, oh, so now then Gary, my business manager, had to get a hold of my lawyer to see how we should handle it. Five hundred dollars. Really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it seems as though our this guy owes us forty two hundred dollars for our deposit, which we've not seen back yet. So he said just. Send him the money minus the forty two hundred. You know? No, don't. Huh? Uh, don't, uh, because then uh, they may say that you're not in. Uh, uh, you're not doing what the agreement said to do. The forty two hundred dollars is a different deal. Well, uh, if he I, wants the other forty two hundred dollars, send us forty two hundred dollars, and we'll send you another forty two hundred dollars or whatever. You know. Well, but, it's nice to have a paper. No, our, and and you say don't do that, but our, our lawyer said to do that. Yeah, uh, your lawyer yeah, said to do a lot of more things. than lawyer. Now you're paying seventy five thousand instead of oh. getting three hundred thousand in treble damages. Yeah, well, you know, you know that wasn't going to be. You know, it yeah. wasn't the nature of the court that we were in. So, yeah. you know, anyway, uh, I'll be back in a minute. <clears throat> I'll be glad when it's all over. But, uh, huh? Going into the, he still left and go to my kitchen. <laughs> I see him go. Hey, get out of the refrigerator. I'm joking. Yeah, people don't know what we're talking about because when you're there, okay. It's dark. And by the way, move your move your head up into the picture a little more. Tony. Tony. Yes, you, Tony. Yeah. Sorry. There you yeah. go. And now move out of the picture for a second so it won't be, the white shirt won't be lowering the video there. Is Just move okay? over. Move out of the picture a second. Just, you're not moving out of the picture. Oh, I'm, I'm still in? How about now? Just move out of the picture or duck oh, under totally. the... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, there. Look see, at now you can right see. There. It's the Perfect. same. Perfect. Yeah, it's, it's Just stay the there. Go move. The <laughs> I'm coming back. While you're down there, could you do something for me? <laughs> I'm going to have another cup of coffee. Wait a minute. I got Ray's... There you go. Go get some coffee. Now it'll be bright. Here, co go. here comes Ray. Hello, Brian. I haven't talked to you tonight. Hello. How's the hand? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has to ask. Somebody. I'm just, I'm just here to defend T Tony. Now he's gone. What the hell? <laughs> you went I to get another know. cup of coffee, Brian. I think he's, he went to send me another voicemail. You, you gonna send you another oh, voicemail? Oh, oh, really? Turn your mic down a little bit. Your mic is a little high. 
Heidi's mic is high. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe that was Tony's mic because he moved Somebody out of the way. Yeah, me. now you're okay, Brian. I'm here to defend Tony. Tony leaves me messages during the day and on my ride home when I'm really down and so beat up from work, I get to listen to a New Yorker just talk about life. It's great. <laughs> I'm a pet. So you I love it. you the same message. Tony, do you send him the same message that you send me? I send so many messages to people I lose track. Tony, here here here's the nature of what you've got to do. Okay. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Tony. Don't listen to him. <laughs> You're such a troublemaker, Brian. He said it says, Hello, Brian. How are you today? So maybe he just he has oh, no, something. No, no, here's what it has. It, name and he it out to no, here's how he how he sends messages on Facebook Messenger. Hello, then the next balloon is Alex, and the next balloon is Hal, and the next balloon is R, and the next balloon is you. He never learned to put all his thoughts in just that's, one message. That's exactly what my brother says. You know, you all I hear is ding, 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 ding. How about, how, yeah. about, how about one sentence? In a well, I mentioned in the past, my watch goes off every time I get a message so on the messenger. He, he had a mute him door to and my watch, my arm was <laughs> cramped. My arm was cramping. My brother was at a meeting, Alex, they were one of his boss. He says, I think that's your brother, Greg. Why don't you get it? See how he's doing. He yeah. doesn't want any of these. <laughs> Let me show you what happens. Um, uh, Phil? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Have you got Facebook up right now? Yeah. Okay. Go to go there and just send me a message. Message right. me. Watch what happens, folks. Watch. It'll make a liar out of me now. See? Yeah, yeah. There it is. And <laughs> See, that, yeah. That's what happens like 40 times when... <laughs> Tony starts messaging me. Oh, there we go. There we go. Keep going, Phil. Mm -hmm. Be Tony. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Well, look, uh, I, I, I've got a uh, thing. Oh, you know, my Facebook account is restricted. Why? I thought oh, I was in a Jewish ho a non Jewish hotel. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it says it's restricted. Why? Because in 2020, I, it says I posted something that had to do with suicide. And so they restricted my account, and uh, it says, um, oh, see restrictions. You okay. cannot go live for 28 days. You I said Alan to... killed himself. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Well, yeah. And it yeah. says that you, I can't advertise for 28 days. Goes, oh, oh, what's your carpet business going to do? Well, <laughs> that, is, that account isn't restricted. It's only, it's only me. But, oh, Alex wants me to... Uh, uh, to, no, no, that's to, fine. I got uh, uh, Alan sent me a message too, but you can hear what message. happens. And now, you, if you can imagine Tony sending you twenty messages, yeah, I used to do that a lot. Go ahead, man. There you go. And that's why he can't message me now. Try messaging me right now, Tony. I have. <laughs> you probably have me blocked. I think. I, I just, I just, you got. That's, that's exactly it. it. I get blocked. I'm like yeah. a child. <laughs> I just sent you ten. Uh, Alex, is no, that no, him? Ten. That's him. Yeah, Tony. But see, I, I'm on the way home, and I listen to all these, and I just sit there laughing. It makes me. I, and I apologize. Well, wait, wait a minute. Why don't you just you, hit one of the ones that's an audio one and put it up to your microphone? I and tried that. Well, somebody talks about you, so let, let me let me check uh, these. Yeah, <laughs> make sure they're okay. But they're always in, in jest, though. I don't think no, really talking about favorite. the guy stealing his packages and and the oh, yeah, out of there. And, Okay, wait a minute. Here. Oh, yeah, might they might be one of our... Never they have stolen the coffee, they, have they, Tony? Yeah, Vince, mom, he sent me the uh, thing, like our online mask thing. You could, like, send wishes yeah. with that. I sent chocolate to the house for, for the family, like a grieving basket. I did. See, that's what my mother would tell me to do. She says, you got to send something to the house. She would tell me that. So you're remembering them. So I did that. It's better than flowers, too. Everybody sends flowers, but that's boring. Yeah, I don't like that. I'd rather send something that they could enjoy. I mean, and you know what the funeral politician guy told me? Papa up. Vera, when they go to the cemetery, you know what they do, people? People trail and they take the fucking flowers. Can you That's believe that? That's how horrible people are, Phil. That is how horrible people are. <laughs> they will still graveyard flowers. It's He's too bad, really. I will just turn off the people. I'll send you the best. <laughs> Boy. You steal the flowers to Papa Vera. Tony, Tony. Tony. Yeah. You could make someone want to kill themselves. <laughs> hey, they, they, they restricted me. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's restricted, Alex. I better knock it off. Phil may take the razor to himself. I think 
she finds it funny though. Phil's got a sense Phil of is in Facebook jail. How funny. Not, well, I can't go live and I can't advertise. Well, I've never advertised. Maybe that was the I, reason we had trouble the other night when we were uh, trying to talk on uh, Facebook. No, no, because when we were talking on Facebook. It was the next day that they <clears> put me up. And I looked and I, you know, I don't post that much on Facebook. What did, and what, I looked what, and I didn't see anything out of place. Alex, you can try messaging me. I'll see if it goes through. <laughs> I'm going to try to bait him. I'm going to reel you back in. Oh, it would go through. It would definitely. I know that's what I was hoping. Don't get back on. Send me a message and see what happens. Anyway, how you doing, Ray? Yeah, I can't. No kidding. Oh, I'm okay. (laughs) Oh, he's in my house too. You working, Ray? Are you doing anything? Meet the monster. I've been auditioning. I like. I have to do all these self tapes and send them in on video. I did three today. It took me all day. Are they San Francisco or the? Yeah, for commercials. Oh, really? Cool. What are you taping? Hey, how do you do that? I have like a whole freaking studio over here. Do set they up. give you something to read? Is that how it works? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, today oh, I had lines. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had uh, I, I I have this thing. I get these casting notices uh, for extra work, and uh, I've been thinking about doing it just for the hell of it. You know, it's fun. Well, I, they, uh, they needed they needed. Uh, let's see here. They needed uh, a couple days ago. They needed some extras for Mrs. Maisel. Ooh, and the black, the black list uh, was another show, and manifest, uh, and uh, quite a few. Yeah, and they need a and lot of them. It's SAG after work too, so you'll get yeah. paid sort of. Okay. Well, it's one hundred and eighty-two dollars, and if they want to stick a swab up your nose, it's an extra hundred. Yeah. Let them do the nose. That's three hundred bucks. Yeah. And you probably get lunch with that too, I bet you. Yeah. I mean, the last extra thing I did, I got like five hundred bucks. I literally did nothing. Is, oh, yeah. is, I, is Maisel shot in New York? Yeah, or, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Absolutely. Alex, I know where the house is in Forest Hills. Me and my sister go by the way. Yeah, the external, the exteriors. They, 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 for all we know, they probably do shoot in Hollywood for the intern. Yeah. So I'm so confused about Maisel because I went to Paramount Studios and they showed us the outside of the, one of the bar, like that main bar she used to go to. Maybe it was just season one. I don't know. Well, but that, I know they shoot in New York, but I saw the... The setup well, there. I do know. I do know the place they use as a as a uh, as a kosher restaurant or whatever that they sit in. I know where that is, right next to the movie theater we used to go to, and they closed it down. So they just are using an empty, um, an empty uh, uh, restaurant. old restaurant. Well, I think yeah. what it is is season. One, if you go back in season one, you see a lot of shots that are always the same with her standing in front of this thing. It's actually, I think, it's Paramount studio but i haven't seen it since like season one so i don't think they do it anymore well i, well, I, I do you do one I, I watch i started watching the new season i've watched the first episode it was horrible yeah it got it, better it, it gets better it, it okay. kind of marginally better but not great not great it wasn't as good as it used to be but what they're but, but they've got to be shooting right now here in new york is uh next season because this season is over with already you know so we'll see so is this what is it the so is this uh, the season is it gets better because man it's not even close to the other the oh first it's season. not no but it, it it's better than it was the first episode oh yeah that was awful oh my god well how many series do you know that keep getting better or or are as I mean, good in their fifth year as they are in their first year you know there's just a handful handful I'm trying to think maybe match or no? uh, longmire the wire sopranos uh oh, yeah. uh dexter got worse uh seinfeld got was pretty seinfeld good to got the better end. always six got feet better under. six feet under got better yeah um what well, those those original hbo shows most of them got better yeah but i mean yeah. it's it, what happens is they get to the second season and they breaking bad yeah, they didn't know what what made them so successful in the first season, and so they try to kind of play on that, and and they lose it. Yeah, like, Breaking it's like Bad. Like they're trying too hard. Well, I think Breaking Bad wasn't as good in its second season, but then it picked up in its third, fourth, and fifth. Yeah, I agree. Another Saul coming out in April, right? Well, it's Better the last be season. Last, last season. And they're going to chop like it up lot. into two 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 seasons. Is what they're going to yeah. do. They're shooting, I think, 15 of them or 14 of them, and then they're separating them up into two uh, two runs. 
So. That's one show I really enjoyed. Yeah, no, um, it's good. Uh, He's good. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Bob Odenkirk. Bob Odenkirk. Yeah, I love him. Yeah. 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 Well, I had this friend, his name was Bob Rubin, as you may know or not know because I've used him on this show. And uh, Bob was going with a woman at the time uh, they got to know and you know we were all all hung out together and whatever and then they broke up she moved down to Hollywood uh, became an agent married Bob Odenkirk and became Bob Odenkirk's agent so she's his agent to this day mm-hmm. you know, so, um, yeah well I enjoyed him in that movie nobody yeah, uh, it, was yeah a good little picture. it was a good movie it was a good movie yeah I saw it on the plane and then I rented it at home so uh, Faye could see it and she mm-hmm. liked it. Yeah. And, you know, Faye has her own rating system. When I first started dating Faye, her uh, pre, uh, uh, late husband didn't allow her to see violent movies. And, uh, you know, so anyway, her rating system is uh, one eye covered or two eyes covered. We went and saw <laughs> Saw 4. Uh, when or saw one of the saw movies when we first started dating and you know because we uh, we'd hop from theater to theater i, I kind of missed that after covid but, uh so uh, as we'd hop from theater we, we'd go oh saw okay so we went into that and it was like this <laughs> <laughs> i never saw saw no huh? did you see saw i see saw 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 power saw seashells at the seashore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you know what I I just watched for the first time was Parasite. That was kind of cool. The Korean movie. Oh, oh that it, it's an interesting it's an interesting out. film. I liked it. Marjorie the didn't like it. The story was great. Mar- Marjorie didn't like it. I liked it. It won. The, I love the story. It, it won like the really Academy really Award good. for Best Picture. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I turned off Power of the Dog. I got bored with it. So it was Everybody like says Power of the Dog that I talk to. Power of the Dog sucks. I tried watching it, Alex, right? I turned it off. This Jane Campion cannot make a movie. I don't, I don't think she makes good movies. I, I really don't think don't. so either. I tried the piano, stunk. I said, this movie stinks. I said. Yeah, but Power of the Dog. I'm thinking of you. Do you know what else is a terrible movie? Which one? Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a licorice Pizza. Oh, I didn't see that. No, Any good, Alex? No. I didn't. I just say, well, you know what sucks? Oh, it did suck. I, was, I like his movies. Too, now it's <laughs> I said, do you know what sucks? And he said, what? And I said, licorice pizza. And then he says his follow-up question was, is it any good? What you are gotta you? listen. What are you, a Republican yeah, asking right. a person on a, who's up for the Supreme you know, Court some questions here? Preview. This I'm show good. has almost all Tony backgrounds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we got Slowly but surely. Oh, Alan's in my house now. Yeah, what, what did you think Where's about Schindler's from? List? Oh, I love I that. Love that was a good movie. I yeah. thought it was. That was a great movie. Yeah, yes. I mean, yeah. it was yeah. a good movie. I thought it was a good movie. Won the Academy Award for Best Director and Best Movie in Well, it was a perfect example of of uh, uh, Steven Spielberg's philosophy of filmmaking <sighs> that if you can't be sincere, at least fake it. <laughs> so oh, you know. That's how I felt about the Schindler's Seinfeld with Jerry Sleet uh, makes out through Schindler's List and his mother this, Yeah, that was very funny. That was a great this episode. DVD, oh, yeah. This DVD was the interview that uh, they did of uh, Holocaust survivors and their families. This was uh, my friend Michael Hirsch's dad, Sam Hirsch, who's yeah. uh, on the end now. He's in his 90s. But uh, he... he uh, survived uh, uh, the concentration camps, and uh, so what? Um, what they did for the movie, I guess, is they interviewed uh, all of these no, Holocaust no, survivors. No, this was after the fact. This oh, was well, after after Spielberg found out there was a Holocaust. Oh uh, well, they made a movie anyways. about it, and then he said, "Hey, that really existed, didn't it?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, you know, an interview. Yeah. Hey, I just looked up Vladimir Putin's IMDb. Oh, <laughs> he's been in a lot of movies. Wait, no. Yes, he has. The Naked Gun, two and a half. I no. Does he have to uh, try out? Wait a minute. Let me I, let me look up my I IMDb he right here. Right how do you how do you spell? How do you put me in the movie? Oh, he has a pretty like killed. he has like a real headshot. And Wait a minute, Putin, 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 Vladimir Putin. Putin. Well, I don't have to go Vladimir. 
Is there yeah. any other? Uh, yeah. Oh, I, th- I didn't realize he was 70. He didn't look that old to me. Putin. That's pretty old, isn't it? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> well, here we go. Vladimir Putin. No, the, 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 it's uh, like, uh, it's a bunch of interviews, I think, is what the new, The Putin interviews, uh, other stuff, Russia, a bunch of Russian stuff. I There's no understand. acting, though, but if you look up, uh, uh, what's his name? Self. Zelensky. Zelensky. He's got quite a quite a record. Uh, well, Putin, Putin has 87 credits wow. as, as himself. As himself. Yeah, they're all as himself. Uh, yeah. Now Zelensky's uh, show is going to be p- is picked up it, by Netflix. It's on Netflix now. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Servant of the People. So is it in English or uh, Ukrainian? Russian? Ukrainian subtitles. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, and he, uh, you know, I, 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 what it is, it, what's so fascinating, is that the. Pro, you know the the um, uh, let me get, I got to get back here to this. There we go. The um, that it's kind of art imitating life or life imitating art, really, because in this thing he plays somebody who's just a common guy who becomes the president of the of Ukraine, uh-huh. right? And and then he eventually became president of the Ukraine, and look at what he's doing. And I think that. The fact that he was an actor and a comedian and all of that gave him the chops to be able to do on the world stage what he's doing now so effectively. Yeah, Yeah, why not? Yeah, I think so. So I think the only thing that it's proven to us is if you get a good actor, he can be a good president, but if you get a bad one, you get Reagan. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Ray, are you running or? uh... (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I'm running, running really fast as far away as I can. But you wouldn't have thought that a guy who like who was who, like Zelensky, who basically became president because he played a president on TV, would be a total failure being president, right? I mean, look at what happened with Trump. We got a a, a phony a baloney. Um, uh, well, he was an executive, it, uh, a CE, CEO. Reality yeah. show, yeah, so-called CEO. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, 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 but this guy, this guy <laughs> became a great leader. I mean, he became a, an example to his people of what bravery is in the, in the face of, ad, uh, of you think, adversity. You think it was in the script? <laughs> no, I don't think it was. <laughs> He has stood up to Putin. I mean, he has just looked him square in the eyes. I mean, metaphorically, square in the eyes, and has just done a brilliant job of it tweaking the like whiskers on the cat. They, you know? uh, what did they say? They retook areas around Kiev. They've they retaken the areas around Kiev. They are estimating that. What, what did I see? What was the figure I saw? Seventeen thousand Russians have died as a result of this <gasps> thing. Yeah, and, and then all, just think how many injured, like three or four for every death. Sure. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, and uh, the Russians won't send them back to Russia. Uh, no, they, they and, go and, back. To and Russia, as a matter of fact, Siberia. Here's how decent Siberia. the uh, here's how decent the uh, Ukrainians are. They're taking the dead Russian bodies and putting them in refrigerated trucks. I thought there were mass graves. No, 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 no. They, their people are going into mass graves. Oh. I think they're only a thousand or so, maybe two thousand tops. It's nowhere near seventeen thousand. Okay, but they've been putting the bodies in refrigerated trucks, and if the Russians want to come get them, come get them. I mean, that's how they decent. shoot at the Russians, <laughs> like they did the Ukrainians in the bread line. Yeah, I mean they're doing. They, you know, uh, it's time we just, I think, stood up to Putin. I think it's just time. He can't win. If we, if NATO wants to go up against him, he can't win that fight. He's NATO's got four times the armament that Russia does. Did you hear that Putin bombed his own uh, oil refinery today? No. No. Yeah, it, it, he, he, he destroyed a Russian oil refinery and, by mistake. He was <laughs> aiming for Mar-a-Lago, and the missile went the wrong direction. Why, why, why was he—oh, this was a Russian refinery in Ukraine? 
I don't. Th I'm not sure if it was in Ukraine or uh, I, I. I had read it uh, uh, about a, 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 two hours ago. But the, uh, but but people who know what's going on and have are privy to it say that he's winning this thing. You know, that they're 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 the Russians. they're they're out doing the Russians. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. at a terrible cost. They're holding their ground. Uh, you know, yeah. I'll tell you something. Let me see if I can. No. The, 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 I disagree with you guys, and I'll tell you why. Okay. I've seen so many of these cities are destroyed. Yeah. I'll tell you, there's, an, there's one they advantage. They don't exist there's, anymore. There's one advantage. Okay. Guy comes over this weekend, picks up all his stuff that he claims was his. Yeah. Okay. With him, he takes, like, for instance, two cabinets that held all the stuff in the bathroom. All right, so we let him take them. Marjorie orders a new a new couple of, of them up from Wayfair or someplace like that. We hire a guy to come in and put them together because those things are impossible to put together. I said to myself, if I was 20 years younger, would I be able to put this thing together? And I went, not in less than three or four days. You know, this guy did it in a half hour. But anyway, and we got a new one, and they look terrific. The old ones look like crap. Well, that's what's going to happen to Ukraine. Once this is over, if they prevail, okay, uh, they got a country to repair. You have no idea to begin with how fast you start rebuilding. And when they're rebuilt, that's going to be one of the most modern countries in the world. Okay. Uh, you, Ukraine says Russia accidentally bombed its own Rosneft uh, refinery. And uh, this uh, happened at 9 a.m. this morning. Mm -hmm. they're so, also known, they've also been shooting themselves in the foot. Yeah, no, it says the Russian aircraft fired upon an oil refinery in Leshank, uh, which is owned by a Russian oil company. Oh, Rosen. okay, but it isn't, it isn't a Russian. It's a Russian-owned. Oh, it's, it's Russian-owned, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. Uh, you know, I mean, I think it's, it's going to be am amazing what's going on. Uh, I think that the, uh, every, every person who knows about military says the Russians are losing this thing. And part of the reason is they didn't think, how are we going to get the gas to all those tanks? They're, um, they're completely out of gas. They're, they're not moving. They're just sitting there in the road ready to be roadkill. You so know? Why, aren't we, aren't, why aren't the Ukrainians shooting that, you know, dis, disabling these tanks? They uh, are. They are. Well, they are. are. Thousands, hundreds of tanks have been destroyed. Yeah. Well, uh, it was 44 miles of them sitting on the road, and uh, I believe that the Ukrainians have 29 MiGs uh, because of, uh, other than the ones that they're talking about giving mm -hmm. them, yeah. and I don't see why they couldn't shoot it. Now, I also saw today they used an American missile system mm -hmm. to take out a couple of tanks, two tanks. You're welcome. But, yeah, two. The, you know, the thank javelin, you very much. The javelin. Yeah, the javelin missile, yeah. missile systems. Yeah, uh, was, but but they could stand to have more, and they yeah, get more no, tanks if they had more. Them javelins. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing I heard today was, um, and and I and I, you can actually check this out if you look at live webcams of uh, Ukraine. These cities, as far as the eye can see from these live, live webcams, you would never know there was a war going on except there's no people around. Um, so what, what, you, what Russia hasn't done yet and what they're concerned about is what they did in Chechnya was get so frustrated, they just throw hundreds and hundreds of missiles at every city until they just well, they've turn been doing everything that. They've been into doing, rubble. But they've been doing that to Mariupol. Yes, Mariupol. But the other Mariupol. places they haven't yet, and they may. They can. They just haven't done it. Yeah, but and that's the downside of Ukraine doing so well. Somehow, but even Mariupol, if you look at the webcam, you it, it look most of the city still looks uh, fine. No, no, it doesn't. I saw. One I just today. looked at a live webcam. Wait a minute. I I uh, I saw uh, a um, a drone that went over Mariupol. Oh, okay. And it doesn't look too good. <laughs> oh, okay. Know? It doesn't look. Well, good. They're showing you what they want you to see. Well, also. no, but when you're doing a drone flying over a city from that distance, you're going to see a you large see range of buildings, and not many of them were still in good shape. Okay. Mm. So Boy, I just I mean, yesterday and I saw a bunch that were. I mean, what I'm saying is that, like, for instance, Lviv. Some guy was reporting from Lviv yesterday, which has not been taking a brunt of anything because it's so close to the Polish border. I don't think 
the Russians want to attack it because if anything strays into Poland, that's it. Game yeah. over, okay? So know. so anyway, uh, he was in Lviv, and you know, there's been some bombing going on in Lviv, but not much, and there are people walking down the street like nothing's happening, you know? So there yeah. are parts of that country where it's it, it's still been spared the wrath of war. Yeah. You no, know, you say that if something went into Poland that, uh, you know, you better watch out, you know, bar, bar the door. I have a feeling that uh, there'd be more restraint because I don't think anybody wants to get into a nuclear war or. Uh, it, it, you know something? Have, have you know something? I'm tired of hearing that. We're not going to get into a nuclear war. Okay. No, no, I think there's going to be more uh, restraint. Even no, if there I, I think that that fear well, is preventing order. us from help uh, from saving human lives, okay? And that, uh, that Putin is counting on that fear that we have about his nuclear capabilities that really, fuck him. You know, go well, ahead, give us your best shot because you want to hit us, hit us with a nuclear weapon. Russia will be dust. Yeah, but, you know, these are the same people that Biden wants to uh, negotiate with over the Iran uh, nuclear deal. So he wants he wants uh, 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 Russia at the table to uh, to broker this deal. And here we are. Well, I think he's given up on that. Yeah, uh, he's That's given he's given up on that. Yeah. Well, that, that's the best thing that uh, I've heard, you know, for Israel, that's for sure. You know, because putting uh, nuclear arms in the hands of the Iranians uh, or even well, giving it to them in 10 well, years. Well, thank, thank you, Israel, for not being that much in, in, in the group of people who wants to go help uh, Ukraine. You know, oh, I know. I think that uh, they, 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 they are. They haven't been. They have, those commercials for Yael Eckstein, uh, you know, she's using the same old lady that's starving to give, you know, the Jewish old lady in Russia. She, that's the same old lady that they're using to raise money for the people starving in uh, Ukraine. The, you know, uh, Christians and yeah, Jews. Yeah, but that, uh, that, isn't, that isn't Israel. Well, that's like some, you know, Chaim Yankel group trying yeah, to raise you know, money. You know, Bill, and take Bill's not much of a Zionist anyhow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really. Yeah. Well, neither, one, neither no. am I either, you know. No, but, well, yeah, we know you're not. But anyway, like the the uh, the Indian government has not come out against Russia. No, matter of fact, they're still trading with Russia uh, between the Indians and the Chinese, mm -hmm. uh, all buying R Russian oil. Hi, and... Pam. I'm saying hi to Pam. Yeah, we, Everybody we wave to Pam. Pam. Hello, Pam. Hey, hey Pam. Pam, how you doing? How are you guys? Now you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you're me. On. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, Cole, Jeff finally figured out how to use the mute button, but at the wrong time. Yeah. And we had a, a small a visit by Adrian. That was nice. I saw that. That was very nice. And uh, here comes our here comes our theme song. Wow, that was over fast. Yeah, yeah, it went really nicely. You know, all day long I felt I'm so tired. I don't know if I can do a show, and then I do the show, and I'm fine. Now I'll be through with the show. I'll be too tired to post everything. You know. Anyway. Hey. Put a stamp on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that coffee looks good, Alex. I'm going to have a cup. Yeah. Anyway, that's it uh, for tonight. Thank you very much, Phil, for joining us and sticking around. My pleasure. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for inviting me. Big, uh, big appreciation mm -hmm. to Jeff for joining us tonight, as well as Alan and Charlie and... Um, um, yeah. Uh, Tony, 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 <laughs> don't answer his calls, okay? Don't buy block him. Right. I don't even know that. Right. Uh, Brian Neary, you don't mind getting messages from him. It's something for you to do on the way home. He's like my big brother. Yeah. yeah. And I, Ray, I thank you so much. McLaren comes with a radio. Right. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay. There they go, folks. Yeah, they're through for tonight. Uh, and uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night with them. By the way, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with The Intersection. It's a really fine program, and you can call him using Skype and the name Gabnet Live. Okay, I'll be back again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, 
Tell her I love her. And by the way, if you're my age, you can now go out and get a fourth shot, second booster. I'm over to the pharmacy a uh, day after tomorrow to do it. See y'all later. Jack's next. Bye bye. <laughs> This is Jack Bishop, the Raymond Reddington of Internet Talk, and have they made a mistake here at GapNet? I-